Hello, hello, my name is Waxo, and on my quest to find the best solo silver making methods has brought me to exploring Albion's Black Zone, the area of the game known as the home of the Zergs, and usually a bad time for any solos. But with SBI pushing for more solo players in the Black Zone in the next patch, I had to see what was up. So, as for the build, we're going to be using pretty much the same thing we were using previously in the Slayer Corrupted video that I did. So, Dagger Pair with the Invis, and we're also going to take the Hellion Hood for another Invis, and even an Invis Pot for in another Invis on top of all those Invises. So, if we aren't getting out of here with that many Invises, then uh, <laughs> we're not doing something right. And I will also be taking all my gathering tools with me to the Black Zone in case we see any like 0.3 resources out there or 0.2 or anything like that's tier 7 or above basically is what we're going to be going after. Alright, that's enough yapping. Let's see how much money we can make. Alright, and now for the grand reveal. After 2 hours and 30 minutes of playing, we made a grand total of 4.54 million silver. And I believe that trumps every other silver making method I've tried so far. I even have a nice little bonus clip here to show off to you guys. Now, they didn't have the craziest loot and I didn't get the spider in the end, so that was kind of unfortunate, but still, a little triple kill would take those. Not everything was extremely peaceful though, like I tried going for these medium and small chests that appear on the minimap every now and then, and, and it was just, there was just no way, even like it, you know, trying to recruit the people around me to help fight for them, like there was just always a big squad of like a, like, you know, 6.3 healers and, or tanks and all that, like a proper group around them, so I was it was really hard to get any of these. So, for my grand conclusion, is the black zone worth it? I would say yes. If you have a decent gathering spec and you go for the tier 7 zones and not the tier 8 ones, since they're milk dry and not a single resource is alive out there. And honestly, I probably could have done this with a cheaper set too and gotten the same result, so. I hope you guys found this video entertaining and useful, and I'll hope to catch you guys in the next one.